Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions Berkshire. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Ubiquiti USIP point to point system. Now we're using some Loco 5 ACs in this example and an air cube. And all we're doing basically is connecting a building to another building that's pretty close and we're just trying to get them some Wi-Fi into this into this outbuilding. The demand for the Wi-Fi is not particularly high. It doesn't need to be like gigabit capable. It just needs to be good for like meetings and browsing and things like that. Um, it's not practical to get a cable from one building to the other because there's some other sort of uh, land and stuff in between that isn't doesn't belong to the client. So we have to try and do it wirelessly. It's going to work really well. I think we'll probably get between sort of 120 to 150 megs uh, from the Wi-Fi. I'm going to show you how to set it all up. Um, I'm going to be using an iPhone 13. We do use, use the USIP cloud. So um, some of the stages you might not see if you're just setting this up in kind of standalone mode. Um, but don't worry too much about that. The setup is still basically the same. There's just going to be some additional steps for my part. Some of this video is sped up because it's quite slow in parts. Um, so don't worry about that. All the steps are there um, and uh, you'll go through everything. If you've got any questions, then please do put them in the comments below and uh, please do subscribe to the channel. One final thing from me, all the products you see here are available on our retail site, wifi2buy.com. Please do check it out. I'll put some links in the comments. I'll also put a link to the USIP app and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Okay, so here's our first uh, Loco 5AC. We've got this on an aerial pole and we're trying to get a signal over to this side over here by the ladder. And here is the air cube. This is going to be providing the Wi-Fi in the building. Um, it's a lovely little model. It just sit on the side and we're going to use this for the PoE as well. So on the back here you can see the 24 volt PoE output. We're going to turn that on and we're going to use that to power the Loco 5AC that we just saw a minute ago. Um, so a good little solution. Right, and here's the other end and we're trying to shoot that over to where we were previously, which you can just see over there in the distance. Okay, so this is a 24 volt PoE injector we're using to power the access point. Um, it has to be 24 volt. You can see the PoE output and the LAN output there. This is the cable to the access point and this is the cable to our switch. Okay, now we're on to the setup. So the first thing to do is connect to the Loco AC's Wi-Fi. It's an open network, so there's no password required. Next, open the USIP app and the Nano Station will pop up there. Click on that and you'll connect. And then in the top hand corner, create an AP. We're gonna rename it so we know what it is. And obviously you wanna give this something that's kind of relevant to the site. I'm censoring this out because this is a real installation. So I'll just save that and that's that done. Okay, now this is the bit you might not see. Here we're basically just assigning it to a site, but we're gonna create a new site. This is like a new customer site, so we're just gonna give it a name and uh, obviously show where it is. And then uh, we'd also put in an address and things like that as well, but we're just giving it a name at the moment and then we'll assign it to that site. So that's now gonna assign. And that's it. Okay, so we're going on to the next stage now, which is the air cube. So the air cube, the first thing you have to do is scan the QR code on the bottom that I'm showing here. And that'll scan, boop, and there we go. We're connected to it. So that's us. The first thing we wanna do is take it from a, uh, we don't want it in router mode here because we've already got a router on the network, we're gonna put it in bridge mode. And that basically means it's not assigning IP addresses. We don't want any conflict with the router because actually by default they're on the same subnet, so it could cause us a bit of problem. Next thing we're gonna do is turn on the PoE pass through. This allows us to uh, use the um, PoE to power the uh, Loco 5AC that we saw earlier on the pole. Okay, so that's the first stage done. Now we're gonna set up the station. Um, so this is the um, the receiving station. It's pops up straight away because it's connected to the air cube and we're connected to the air cube's Wi-Fi. So there we go, we can just click on it. And that's connected. Okay, now we've got to connect it connected to an access point. So I've selected the access point which we had earlier, um, which we set up earlier, and now I'm gonna give this station a name. And I won't hide this one because it's quite a hard one to guess. Um, we're just going to call it the Lodge 104. Okay, the Lodge 104. Oh, I've just got capital on that Lodge. 
we go. Okay, and we'll just save that. And that's just going to finish up. This is really sped up, but it's still taking a long time. Okay, now that's the signal. Minus 39 dBm, which is a very, very good signal. Um, we're not going to get much better than that. I'm not going to bother fine-tuning it. And that's our setup complete. So now we can assign the device. So we're going to assign that to the same site as the last one. And that's done. Okay, so this is just really quickly showing you how to change the Wi-Fi name uh, or SSID on the AirCube. Just sign into it. Go to the configuration and then you can um, select the Wi-Fi and just change it to whatever you need it to be. And that's it. We're pretty much done here. So um, yeah, it's all set up. So that was our setup. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found it useful. If you've got any questions, please do put them in the comments below. Um, and don't forget, you can buy all this equipment from our retail store, wifi2buy.com. Please do subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.